Factory 5 has finally closed the order book on their most iconic flagship supercar, the GTM. It was a front-runner, affordable exotic for over a decade, with its custom two-frame chassis, fiberglass body, and Corvette running gear. But 2022 marks the end of an era for this well-loved $25,000 exotic. Now, the company looks ahead to its highly anticipated replacement, the F9. We saw our first glimpse of the F9 way back in 2019. Factory 5 brought a prototype chassis to SEMA in November, proudly displaying a 9.5-liter, 750-horsepower V12 in the front. Virtual renders of the CAD design body were released shortly after in 2020. At the time of my last update video, the Alpha prototype car had undergone track and wind tunnel testing, as well as a full nose redesign that allowed for better airflow and downforce. At the time, Factory 5 and CEO Dave Lindsay said they hoped it would enter production in fall 2021. But that clearly didn't happen. Last October, the company gave a short update, saying they had planned to unveil the final production car at SEMA in November, announcing, After 25 years of attending the annual SEMA show, we will unfortunately have to miss this year's show. Due to a combination of COVID-related issues and our obligation to our customers to get as many orders and parts to them as possible during a global supply chain nightmare, I decided to make the tough decision to miss this year's fun show. We were planning on unveiling our new F9 hypercar at SEMA this year. Recently, I made the decision to redesign the nose and front end, but here's a photo of the concept car as it was being prepared for SEMA. A week later, they gave a more detailed look at the completed F9 design. This recent post provides a little more insight into the future of Factory 5's long-awaited GTM replacement. The team at Factory 5 Racing has been working with Phil Frank, designer of the Celine S7, on an all-new design that we call the F9. We have already been granted trademarks on the F9, F9R, and F9E, protecting the name of the car in its three forms. These design patents protect the shape of the car, and Factory 5 is proud to announce the trademarks are registered and the design patents are issued. The F9 design was rendered fully in CAD, followed by scale model production and full-size output over the process of three years. The F9 prototype advanced through functional testing, track testing, and wind tunnel testing. The current prototype vehicle is in-house at Factory 5 and was planned for a SEMA 2021 debut, which has now been delayed. Custom builder Eric Trevis assembled the prototype in Alabama at his shop. The running and driving car is powered by a 9.5-liter LS engine in a V12 configuration. The body is 100% carbon fiber over Factory 5's trademark tube steel space frame. The design team is making small changes to the front end of the car to improve aerodynamics and aesthetics. It's interesting to hear the brand was granted three name trademarks. This reveals there will be three different trims of the F9 offered. We already knew about the base F9 model and the F9R track-only version, but the existence of an F9E might open up the possibility for an all-electric version down the road. Despite all this new information, there is still no firm production date or price tag announced for the F9. It seems fairly certain at this point the car will have a full carbon fiber body shell and be offered in an affordable DIY package. But when exactly it goes on sale is still up in the air. Obviously, this component hypercar is a major leap from the fiberglass kits of the early 2000s, and bringing it to the market in the middle of a global supply chain crisis is no easy feat. If you want to stay up to date on Factory 5 in the world of affordable exotics and kit cars, make sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.